Okay, so yesterday we did the six parts of our color wheel. We did the three primary colors, yellow, blue, and red. We colored in the secondary colors, orange, violet, and green. We labeled them primary and secondary. Primary, secondary, primary, secondary. Today we're going to focus on coloring in your tertiary colors. That's the colors that are left here blank. To do this with colored pencils, we're going to use the same exact pencils we used to do the blue, green, yellow, orange, red, and violet. And you'll see on your color wheel that this is labeled yellow, green, we have yellow, orange, red, orange, red, violet. What I tend to do first is I'm going to <coughs> color the color that is mentioned first. So this says yellow green, so I'm going to first color the yellow part. I'm not going to press down really hard with my uh, colored pencil. I'm going to kind of lightly color it. If you bleed into the yellow, of course that is fine, but try not to bleed into the green or whatever color is going to be mixed with this. You don't want to um, get confused with your colors here. Okay, so there is the yellow I used, so now I'm going to use the green that I used right here, and I'm going to lightly color that as well. Okay, you'll see you'll get kind of a uh, lime green out of this. Okay, again, I'm coloring lightly. Okay, now on some of these, I do go over um, my second layer a little bit with my first layer. So I'm gonna take the yellow again and go over it again. Uh, giving it a little bit more pressure this time to the um, colored pencil. Because this should be kind of a, a lime green. Okay, and you'll see my finished one in a minute, so you'll see why I know it should be a lime green. Okay. So now if I move over this way, uh, it says blue-green. Okay, so I'm going to start with my blue. Make sure you've got blue and not violet. And I'm going to lightly uh, color down my blue. Okay, you'll see I'm not pressing real hard. I'm not making this really dark. Okay, I think that just kind of helps um, with the blending of the colors because that is what you're doing. You're blending these two colors. Okay, so I'm going to just color that down. All the way down to the tippity point there. Okay, and then I'm going to take the second color that is mentioned, which is the green, so this is blue-green, and I'm going to color over that blue I just colored. Okay, again, not applying a whole lot of pressure I bleed into the green, that of course is okay. So I'm not being as careful on that green side. Okay. I don't worry too much about the direction I'm going as far as my pen strokes. So now I'm going to do another layer of blue just to get that to come out a little bit more. So you want it to be a true mix of the two colors. Okay, so it should be a little darker. I'm actually going to put down a little bit more green because I think I had too much pressure in my hand with that one. Okay. So I can continue around the circle that way. Try going with the first color that's mentioned. Okay, this is yellow-orange, so I'm going to color down yellow first, and then I'm going to color the orange. This next one is red-orange. I'm going to color that down. Okay, once you have this done, you're going to get something that looks like this. Completely finished it. You're going to write the word tertiary. Okay, let me bring that closer. Tertiary, T-E-R-T-I-A-R-Y, because those are all tertiary colors. And you want to continue around. Uh, labeling everything tertiary. Yesterday you should have labeled the primary and secondaries. I've not finished on this one yet, but everything else is going to be tertiary. Okay, this will be turned in, so make sure you complete it. We do have one more um, 
thing to maybe do to this. Um, and we will be using this with our next uh, few assignments. So please make sure you complete this, label it primary, tertiary, secondary, make sure you've got all the colors.